Have you not seen? The adept in non-action is the idle wayfarer, not eliminating delusions, not seeking truth. Ignorance and true nature are one with Buddha nature. The transformation of illusion into the emptiness of the body is the Dharmakaya. Having realized the Dharmakaya, there is nothing. The original source, the true Buddha nature, the five aggregates are like floating clouds, coming and going in emptiness. The three poisons are like bubbles in water, appearing and disappearing in emptiness. Realizing the true form, there is no self. In an instant, annihilating the hellish karma. If one deceives sentient beings with false speech, they shall themselves invite the punishment of pulling out their tongues in the sands of kalpas. Upon sudden realization, it is like the meditation of the Tathagata. The perfection of the six perfections and the 10,000 practices, clearly seeing the six realms in dreams. After awakening, realizing the emptiness of the vast cosmos. No sins, only merit. In the nature of cessation, there is no need to seek or inquire. The dust on the mirror of the past has not been polished. Today, it must be thoroughly analyzed. Who is without thoughts? Who is without birth? If truly without birth, then there is neither birth nor non-birth. Summoning a wooden person to inquire about the mechanism, seeking the Buddha's blessings, one will attain them sooner or later. Release the four elements, do not grasp them. In the nature of cessation, drink and eat freely. All actions are impermanent, everything is empty. This is the complete enlightenment of the Tathagata. Decisively speaking, embody the true monastic. Some refuse to accept the truth, bluntly cutting to the root certified by the Buddha. I cannot pluck branches or leaves. The jewel of the mani is unrecognized by people. It is personally obtained from within the Tathagata's treasury. The six supernatural powers are empty yet not empty. The single round light is neither color nor form. Purifying the five senses, attaining the five powers, only those who have realized it know its unfathomable depth. It is not difficult to see one's reflection in a mirror, but how can one grasp the moon in the water?